How are you guys today? Okay, I'm, I'm about to pour me some tea, but then we have a project we're working on. I've been making me some tea. This is some Tezo tea and um, also bo some botanicals tea. So I actually been making like some tea and putting it in the fridge. So yeah. So if you don't know by now, if you didn't watch my last video, I would certainly go watch it. It was a great video. It was like my summer vacation vlog. I don't have a lot of views on that video, so I need y'all to go watch it. If you already watched it, watch it again. Okay? That's number one. Go watch my latest video. Number two. Hey, y'all. Now y'all can see my face. Hey, Francis. All right, so if you read the title. Oh, gosh. I got to go get my materials, though. If, you're, if you read the title, I'm working on my new studio, guys. This is a sneak peek. I'll have a full video out uh, next week. Um, but actually, so y'all getting a little, y'all getting a little behind the scenes today. I'm gonna turn around the camera. Today, I worked on this. So this is all by hand. This is not wallpaper. FYI by hand this is my brand new studio which i'm going to be doing all my clay work all that from so i'm setting up my desk but i'm going to do one more little art installation on this wall which we're going to start together but i forgot my, my materials in the kitchen so i'm gonna go grab that so yes i'm looking real rough this is what you know moving looks like I still got a lot of boxes down my hallway that I'm trying to do, but I actually need to get, need to find some tape. I know it's because I came in here. So the studio now is in, I'm going to let the comment, what did you say? Oh, the comments, how do you see the comments? Well. I saw something about the studio now in Florida. I don't know who said that, but yes. I actually moved to Florida. If you guys don't know, I used to commute a lot from Charlotte back to Florida. And I would spend a couple weeks in Florida and come to Charlotte. Now I'm going to be commuting from Florida to Charlotte. Did I leave that pencil in here? Oh yeah, I did. I'm on live back. Say hey to the people. Hey to the people. <laughs> oh god. Y'all ain't never seen no live like this. This is a different type of live. On the on the move live. Alright, I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm gonna do right now. So we're gonna stop being on the move. This is, I knew I was going live, but some reason I had this and then I forgot. All right, let me put y'all down. Hey, Amber. Ooh, Amber, on your video tonight, it's like, oh, I look rough. Good thing, good thing I got good self esteem. That's exactly how I feel. Who watched Amber's videos today? If you didn't watch Amber video, you should totally check it out. The link is in the description. She painted her house white. It's so pretty. But in that video, she was like, I look so rough. I'm glad I got great self-esteem. I feel the exact same way. Like, I look so rough right now. It's a good thing I got good self-esteem. All right, so this is what I'm doing, y'all. In this corner, have y'all seen lately the trending like arches and so basically what I want um, if you're just showing up let me show you this side this is the other side of my wall very pretty very pretty hello hello Roberta 
very pretty all right i did this all by hand today so yeah i painted all of this yesterday so i painted all of this it's like a white gray it, it almost gets purple vibes too sometimes when you look but it's a nice cool tone for recording hey hey lenny hey kimberly um so let me turn this around so yeah so what i'm working on right now is i'm working on my studio if you just showed up you don't know what's going on this is not usually how i look or how my videos are but i just moved last week and because i just moved i'm working on my brand new studio and like my office that i do all my clay oh laverna i don't play around I can't even get comfortable until my space is at least a good amount decorated. Like, I don't play around. You're right. I do not play. So, what I'm about to do is I'm going to make this arch wall. I'm going to make an arch on this wall. So, arches, I don't know if you guys seen them lately in like home interiors. They're kind of trendy. So, basically, trendy, they kind of always been around, but I feel like I've been seeing them a lot more. So, I'm like, I love the look. I think it'll be nice in my room. So my, my desk is going to be up against this wall right here. On this corner, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a, we'll see. This is my hope. But I'm going to do like an arch that goes up here. And then I'm going to do another arch. And then I'm going to have a circle over here going into that arch. So this will be a circle on this side. It'll be an arch and then another arch that's lower so in order for me to do that what you got to do is kind of get string you need pencil and you need some tape and so basically what I'm going to do is first I'm going to put the string some string on this pencil with this tape now I don't know how long I oh, I don't know how long I need this to be, so we're just going to test this out first and see if it's long enough. I might have to um, redo it, so we'll just see how big. I don't know if there's some type of math that you can do to figure out the circumference of the circle or whatever. I mean, I know if I'm just doing a straight circle, however long this is going to be, obviously, is how big is the circle going to be. But because I'm doing the arch, I really don't know. Like this, I can already tell this is way too long. Yeah, especially if I put it right there. Yeah, that's way. Maybe if I do it down here. So, I feel like, no, that's too long stuff. So, we're gonna see. Maybe I should do this arch first. I feel like I'm gonna do the shorter arch first. Let's do that, let's try that. Okay, so I know for that, it needs to be right in the middle of where your arch is going to be, and then you're going to do it like this. Oh, okay, so let's see. See, that's big, so short. So if I do like this, okay, I think right there. Let's try this. This is all trial and error. If y'all say in comments, I really don't. I can really can't see them in, until they're coming up. Let's see. About right here. And y'all will be a witness next week if this came out right. All right. So, what I think is from here, then we're going to draw the arch. I got more paint, so let's just go for it and see how it's gonna work. So I think I can either do like this and go oh and go around like this. Yeah, let's try that. Just straight forward. Okay. Y'all ready? I'm a little nervous. Oh shoot. Well I'll have to make a let's see. Okay. 
All right. Now, that's my first arch. Problem is, I need it. Y'all can't see it because y'all are sitting on it. Let me turn this around so y'all can see. Because one of the things I got to make sure is I don't want the arch to be hidden, hidden by this thing right here. This is going to be up against the wall. So, let's see. If I put this up there, I think it will be shown. I think the arch will, you can see the arch. It doesn't have to be very tall over it, but it definitely needs to be over it. Okay, I see where I need to straighten out this a little bit, but let's just keep trying this out. All right, let's see. So I can see where, I know one thing, is that you gotta make sure your pencil stays straight up the whole way. I feel like over here my pencil, see how it went out? It wasn't here. So that's fine. I'm gonna just make this side match this side because I actually like how big this is. So let's I'm just trying to see. Looks good. Obviously, this will all be cleaned up once it's painted. Uh, and then from there, from where it starts straight, then we're going to just tape it off. And I'll make sure it's level. But right now, I think this looks good. I think this looks good. This is the first arch that we're going to do. Yeah, I like that. I think that's big. And then we'll just go... Straight down, straight down. I think that looks good. I think this looks good. Okay, so now this is where it gets tricky. This is where it's gonna get tricky. Um, this is the one part I hate. I should I should have went on string art so I can show y'all where I was going for. But y'all will see it. Y'all will see it all come together. So what I really want to do now is I want the next arch to come about halfway into this arch. And really I want it to come all the way. See, maybe I should have did this one a little bit farther over. Is that big? And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it doesn't all have to be, it doesn't have to be the middle. It could just be a little corner of the arch on this side too. So basically, I want it to come over down like this. I feel like I can almost free hand it, but we'll see how this works. I'm gonna have to get the ladder right here. Do this next one. Okay. 
perfect. And then this texture is killing me. It's making my lines so crazy. Alright, I think that's good actually. But wow, the texture is making the um, pencil go everywhere. So funny. I don't know if y'all can barely see that. But basically, it's going to go over here and down. And then I'm going to make a big circle on this other side. So, and then all the lines are going to be straight with tape. Once I get the curve right, I feel like I need to fix this curve a little bit, but I can do that. So now we're going to do the circle, and this is probably going to be the circumference of the circle. Okay, that seems good. Alright, so let's start the circle. Oh, make sure your pencil... You got to keep your pencil super flat. Woo! I think that's good. I'm going to straighten all this out. You know, can see the circle? Yep. Barely. So, with the pencil, it also allows me not to put the... So, whenever I paint this, I'm not going to paint this part, this negative space. I'm not going to paint that with this arch color. I'm going to just paint it all with the circle color. That way I'm not like over, have to layer the colors. So that will be good. Same thing with this. Once this starts, I don't really have to paint any of this underneath, just over here. So that will be good. <clears throat> and then I'll go down from here. And this whole little corner will be in this color. So, I'm going to show y'all the paint colors. We've been 17 minutes in. Alright, I'm going to show y'all the paint colors we're going to use. So, we're going to use, for the arches, for the big arch in the middle, we're going to use this pink right here. Amber, this reminds me of your door color a little bit. I can't remember what you told me. I know you sent me a picture of it, but this is called Quaint Peach. Peach. I don't know what that means. P E C H E. Quaint P E C H E. But this is what it looks like. It's very pretty. See that? Gorgeous. It's like a very light pink. And then this color. I'm also going to go in with like a more tan, neutral type color. And it looks like this. Like a tan color. I think I'm going to make this one. I think I'm going to make this arch the tan color, I believe. Pink. And then I don't, the circle color. Um. The circle, that's the one. I think I might do that. Uh, guys, this is what I have a bad. I'm going to tell y'all this story and then I'm going to let y'all go. But I have a bad. I, if you work at Lowe's, please run for me. Take my paint to the counter. I have a bad habit of like dropping paint in the, the stores. So I actually bought three paints. Or I didn't buy it, but I actually went to buy three paints. There was this light pink. It was this color, and it was like a darker pink, like a good peachy, um, dusty, uh, blush type pink, but it was a shade darker than this. I dropped it, like got to the counter, picked it up, I'm taking it, they mixed it, go to take it from the basket to put it on the counter, dropped it. The whole thing broke open, spilled. I was so, I was so embarrassed. 
I checked out, you know, the guy was like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, whatever, and I was just like, okay. I checked out, I ran out there, and I didn't even go back to get the paint mix. Last time me and Amber got paint mix, when I was doing my studio at my other house in North Carolina, I dropped black paint in Lowe's. I was like, I don't know what is going on. That time, I did get it remixed because it was the only thing I was getting. I was like, oh, I need another one. <laughs> uh, or no, actually, it wasn't a mix. Actually, I just bought black chalk pink. I think that was what it was last time, so I didn't have to get a remix. That's what it was. I know. I, was, I just ran. I ran out of the... I really did. Because usually they'll come and they'll put sand on it and then they'll sweep it up. At the Lowe's in North Carolina, they knew exactly what to do. This North, this one, they was getting paper towels. They looked like they didn't know what to do. I just got out of there as quick as possible because I was like, this is embarrassing. Like, it wasn't that nobody in there. It was barely anybody in there. But I was just like, I got to go. So, now I got to go back to the store and get that color because I was like, I cannot. I can't be in here right now. I'm embarrassed. So, yeah, I think I'll do that color, that darker pink that I originally got, do the circle, then do this arch, the light pink, and then do the tan here. And then just how I did the black and white on this side, I'll probably do one little, not a whole patch, but maybe like somewhere over here, just do like a little couple black stripes just to kind of like tie both sides in. And I think now it's gonna look so cute. And then I'm gonna style this shelf. So this is the ledge. So I'm gonna put some pictures up there. I'm gonna have some like florals up here, maybe some books, style this really cute. Then underneath there, I'm gonna have this dresser which has like all of my equipment in there. And then on this side, I'm going to have another something here. Eventually, I would like to find a cute little chair and make this like a cute little chair area maybe. I don't know. Um, and then on the other side of this, closer to the door, I'm going to have like a whiteboard so I can put like to-do lists, things like that. I'm going to have a whiteboard there. And, and then on this side, I'll probably just have like, I have a whole other gallery wall stuff that I'll do. So I'm going to work on that for the rest of the weekend. So next week on Wednesday, y'all can see the final reveal of the studio when it's completely done. Or for the most for the most part done. I think it's going to be about 90%. Obviously, there's always things that I'm like, oh, I should do that. I should do that. So I might change a little bit over time. Something that I do want to do over time is, and I might not do this for next week, but I, unless I find something, I want to get like a really cute wallpaper to go back here or paint this or something. And I also want to do something on the top of the desk, like some type of paint, maybe just white paint. Cause this is, I can after a while they get kind of scratched up. So I just want to like paint, I think will be a, a, a more protected surface, especially if I get like a good furniture paint. I think it'll work better on here but so that will be done but for the most part the studio will be set up ready to work so then I can start making earrings again because I actually really do miss making earrings like I've been coming up with all types of ideas over the last couple of weeks that I've been moving so I'm excited to make more stuff thank you Lenny and also, I'm excited to show you guys some of the other rooms that I'm doing in um, my new house here in Florida. So, um, yes, yeah, stay tuned for that because I'll be doing a whole lot of transformations. You guys know Amber and I, we love, <laughs> we love our home decor. So, we love doing our DIY projects and our um, painting and all the things. So, that's just like a passion of mine to like I just don't feel comfortable like literally I've been here for a week my space have not been done and I feel like so out of balance out of whack so I'm like I can't wait till this office is done so 
know that I can work. I can feel productive again. I just, after like working in a nice space for so long, like I had a very nice um, studio in my home before I moved. And then I moved my studio into the studio in North Carolina. And so that was very nice. And so I can't go back to. Yes, Lenny. Yes, yes. Let me know. I'm in um I'm in the panhandle. No, yeah, I'm in the panhandle of Florida. So the very north part of Florida, Tallahassee. And I actually lived here 10 years before I actually moved to Charlotte. So back here again, but good. Um, I, it actually still feels like I live in North Carolina because I really haven't been outside. I just been in the house every single day doing room by room. Um, so yeah, it doesn't feel like I live in Florida yet. So <laughs> maybe one day it'll pick in and be like, girl, you live in Florida. And then check this out. I live in Florida, but I'm about to be back in Charlotte in one more week. So I'll still be in Charlotte quite a bit until um, for the rest of the year because I'll be there in September. We'll probably be back in November, December, and then I'll, we'll be there in February because my husband, he actually got lots of things to do in Charlotte, whatever, so. Yeah, Fernandina Beach. Oh, Florida. Yes, that's near Jacksonville. That's like, um, it's probably about, I want to say about three hours for me, four hours, maybe three hours. I don't know, but um, yeah, we go to Jacksonville. Um, if you watch my vlog from last week, I was very close to Fernandina Beach because that's right near like Jacksonville. So um, yeah, let me know when you're coming down. Hopefully I'm not in Charlotte. <laughs> um, or do you bounce back and forth between projects? Oh, that's a good question, um, Kimberly. Um, um, I right okay. Whenever I move into a new house, I generally um, um, work to get the spaces like livable. Right, whenever you move, obviously to get all the spaces livable. But then I do kind of bounce back and forth on different spaces. It really depends, like. So, especially like my studio, I might just do it all in one suit, right, for the most part. But prior to ever, prior to me working on the space, I know the space I'm working on next. So, like, I'm just thinking about the things that I need for the space. And then if I'm at the store, I'll pick it up. Because this is one, one of the things that we, that I used to do in Courage. You know Courage, Kimberly, we used to do back in the day. It's like, we would want to get everything from the space and then be like, boom, it's done. You want to make your house look like HG, HGTV kind of, right? But in order for me to really accomplish a room, I need to buy the things that I want for the room piece by piece. So I might not actually start working on the room, but I'm already thinking about the room that I want to do. So whenever I'm out at the store or whenever I have extra money, I can be like, oh, let me order this or let me buy this. And then... I can execute the whole room kind of at one time or between like a couple of weeks or whatever versus waiting around saying, oh, I want to do my room over, but I don't have $500 or $1,000 to commit to it in one fell swoop. No, if you know that your room is something that you want to accomplish next, then start just picking up small little pieces here and there, everywhere. And then once you get a good amount of stuff, then you can execute the room. Because if you try to wait till like you buy everything at one time, sometimes you just get confused. So that's what I've been doing. Luckily for this space, because I've been so, I've had my spaces already beautified before I moved into space. It's, I don't need, I didn't need to buy much, right? So I needed to buy paint and... Yeah, that's pretty much really all I need to buy for this space is paint because my, I already had a pretty, all my furniture, all the things that I need for my studio, from my last studio. So I already have plenty of decorations and all of those things. So I just got to put it together and I had to rework it in my mind how it's going to work in this space, but I already had everything. But if you're thinking about creating a new space, start picking up stuff, like think about it, make it a habit, like. I know when I was building up my room, 
my studio room back before I had all the things, I would just buy some. Like, okay, I know I wanted to get a new desk. Or I used to have this pack system. I knew I wanted that. Just, I don't even know if I bought both of them at the same time. But I just bought one and I think I bought another one. Um, or whatever you're looking to buy. I just start, yep, yep, that's, that's what I do, yep. Just start building it gradually and then, boom, then you have it. Um, everything is there because we stop ourselves so many times we're like oh I want to do this but I don't really have the money or blah 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 but yeah if you bought that $20 picture or that $50 you know chair or whatever that you saw in Ross or and I do a lot of like Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ikea I don't live in oh Lenny you know what um, <laughs> Lenny, let me know when you're going to Furniture Beach because I might need to go to Ikea around that time because I don't live near Ikea anymore, which that's, whew, that hurts my soul. Yeah, that's where I am, bro. Paint doesn't cost much and it can really, I mean, literally, you guys, this is what I mean. F to do this wall behind me, this wall makes such an impact, right? I, I think it made a huge impact in this space. And I got a sample of this paint, which cost $4. $4. Oh, Lenny, I'm going to be in Charlotte. I am going to be in Charlotte during that time. That's crazy. Um, this cost $4. Okay, $4. I'm, this paint is almost... I probably got like less than a quarter left, but I painted this whole wall for $4. Wallpaper would have cost me um, probably to do this man at least $150, $200 to do wallpaper. I just had, sometimes you got to exchange your sweat equity for a look that you want because I could have easily got this in wallpaper. Could have did so many wall so many different wallpapers. But number one, I feel like wallpaper was gonna take me, it would have been a little bit cumbersome to do by myself, I guess. Um it would have cost way more. The impact would have been great, just would have cost a lot more. But I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pop buy this for four dollars and I'm gonna do it myself. And I feel like it made a great, great impact. For four dollars, this is a four dollar wall installation, and these other ones. Whenever I do this other side that y'all just saw me draw out, I bought the colors once again four dollars. So yes, I'm using three different colors. So that's gonna cost me what twelve dollars. It's gonna be a big impact for twelve dollars, and so that's that's kind of what I do. So I'm excited to show you guys the finished product. Yeah, it's paint. I literally use this brush and I made each stroke. Actually, I need to go wash this brush before I mess it up. I forgot I didn't wash this yet. I had wiped it out, but I didn't wash it. But yeah, stroke by stroke. Um, oh, I'll show y'all. This is the last thing that I'm leaving for. But I'll show y'all how I did it. If you're thinking about doing this or doing some type of thing like this, um, I basically used the cardboard and j mapped out. I used a bunch of different brushes. I'll show you all this in my video next week too, but like I said, it's a little sneak peek. Um, I basically made a bunch of different strokes with the paintbrush and then just decided which one I was going to go with. So as you can see, this is the one I kind of went with. I made it a little bit longer on the wall, but this is the end one. This is what I went with. But I just played with a different, different brushes. These were all different brushes. This was the this was the brush. I just did one this way, horizontal, and then this one is vertical. Ran it up and down vertical. So just figure out what kind of look you want. Use Pinterest and voila. Now I have a wall, and this can be done with any color. I think black and white give me a great impact. And really, if you see this green base up here. Black and white, you can put any color with it. Any color, you can really just hop with it. And I think once I get my pictures on the wall, the flowers up here, it's just going to be amazing. So, 
I can't wait to show you guys <sighs> next week. So, see you next time. Thanks for hanging out with me and, you know, the behind the scenes of my workspace. So, um, now I gotta figure out how to end this live. But thank you guys. Thank you for watching. If this is your first time here, welcome. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm almost at 3,000 subscribers. So make sure you um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And I will see you guys next. First of all, I'm looking this way. I was, y'all, I was looking, oh, was I looking at y'all? I was looking at y'all. I can't remember. Okay. Anyways, bye. See you guys next week.